Good Thursday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Here are a few of the stories we have coming up for you tonight. Chelan County PUD has announced that customers will begin receiving billing statements again soon after they were delayed from a recent cybersecurity event. One sure sign of spring is the KPQ Home Expo rolling out tomorrow through Sunday at the Town Toyota Center. We'll have a preview. Clouds will begin to move in tomorrow with possible rain and warmer temperatures by this weekend and early next week. Your local forecast is coming up. Chelan County Sheriff's detectives have released new information regarding the ongoing search for missing 37-year-old Adriana Nunez Gutierrez. Adriana was last seen at her Chelan home on February 15th and is officially reported missing on February 23rd. Detectives said the location of Adriana's phone is unknown. Her cell phone provider confirmed the phone lost power after a text message sent on February 16th. A community member came, uh, came and claimed to have seen Adriana at the Chelan Walmart last week, but detectives watched surveillance recordings and determined it was not her. Adriana is a Hispanic female, 110 pounds and approximately 5 feet 3 inches tall with dark hair. She also walks with a noticeable limp. The investigation is ongoing and anyone with information is asked to call the tip line at 509-667-6 the Wenatchee School District says it has successfully refinanced its 2014 bonds used for the construction of Washington and Lincoln Elementary Schools. Moody's Investor Services, a bond credit rating business, kept Wenatchee School District at an AA3 rating, which is the fourth highest in Moody's long-term debt rating despite the district's current budget challenges. Moody's was required to assess the district's credit rating as part of its application to refinance current bonds at a lower interest rate. In the wake of a $9 million budget shortfall, the district has a three-prong expenditure plan that includes staffing reductions through high school and middle school schedule changes and the proposed closure of Columbia Elementary School. If unable to implement this three-prong plan and balance ongoing operations, the district says Moody's may downgrade its rating in the future. Washington's amended capital budget, which helps pay for a broad range of construction and repair projects around the state, headed toward final approval on Wednesday in the state legislature. The amendments include new $1.3 million in spending for affordable rental housing in the city of Leavenworth, as well as improvements at the Wenatchee Valley Technical Skills Center, where students get their start in a number of trades. The existing budget already pays for major Wenatchee Valley projects, including nearly $20 million to rebuild the Center for Drug and Alcohol Treatment and $2 million for the Greater Wenatchee Irrigation District. Today was the last day for passage of bills as the legislature closed its short spring session. A veteran legislator for the state's 7th district is retiring. Representative Joel Krett says he will not return to the Capitol after this year. The Republican lawmaker has represented the vast and rural 7th district since 2006. When not serving alongside fellow Representative Jacqueline Maycumber and State Senator Shelley Short, Kretz raises quarter horses on his ranch in Okanagan County. Kretz's district includes most of Douglas County and part of Grant County. When we come back, the State Court of Appeals refused today to revive a lawsuit by 91 former employees of Confluence Health who allege they were wrongfully fired for refusing to accept a COVID-19 vaccination. And Our Valley, Our Future is seeking community members to fill three vacant board member positions. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Caught in a conflict? Family? workplace, neighbor, business, housing disputes? Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center provides mediation services, a cost-effective and efficient way to provide a written resolution to disputes and issues. Plus, we offer mediation training and community education on conflict resolution and communication skills. Contact us to learn more. 
It's cold outside and time to make sure your loved ones are safe and secure at home during the cold months ahead. Aging in Adult Care has low-cost in-home care options for seniors, adults with disabilities, and for caregivers assisting relatives or friends. Services like housekeeping, personal care, and home-delivered meals can make such a difference for you or someone you know. These services and more are available by calling Aging in Adult Care's offices at 1-800-572-4459. Headaches, neck or back pain, been injured in a car accident, a work injury or fall? Studies show that whiplash causes pain year after year. Your neck is supposed to be curved and acts like a spring to absorb shock, but when it's damaged, it straightens or reverses, and this causes headaches and pain. The solution is our specialized comprehensive combination care. You need our team of professionals who will address every point of your injury with very specific equipment and skill. Stop by Wenatchee or Leavenworth for a free consultation. The State Court of Appeals refused today to revive a lawsuit by 91 former employees of Confluence Health who allege they were wrongfully fired for refusing to accept a COVID-19 vaccination. The former health care workers refused to comply with Governor Jay Inslee's 2021 executive order mandating COVID vaccinations for everyone in their field. Confluence placed staff on leave and then dismissed them if they did not receive their shots by October. October of that year. Douglas County Judge Brian Huber dismissed their lawsuit one year ago, saying the plaintiffs had not set out adequate grounds to sue. The appellate court upheld the judge's ruling today. More than 80 of those plaintiffs have a second lawsuit against Confluence Health now pending, which alleges their religious rights to refuse the vaccine were violated. Chelan County PUD has announced that customers will begin receiving billing statements again soon after they were delayed from a recent cybersecurity event. Change Healthcare, a national billing company, has contracted through the PUD to process and distribute customer billing statements. However, the company suffered a ransomware attack in early February that halted this system. The PUD has now switched vendors and the first batch of new statements were sent out yesterday. The PUD will also be sending out a letter to all customers explaining the recent event and the details of what to expect with future statements. Our Valley, Our Future is seeking community members to fill three vacant board member positions. The local nonprofit conducts community outreach across the region according to an action plan that's created every five years through the collaboration of local residents. The organization's board serves as the governing body for the nonprofit and oversees all projects and initiatives involved in the action plan. Individuals interested in applying for a board position can fill out an application on the nonprofit its website. Applications will be accepted until March 29th. Coming up next, we will bring you our weekly Pause for Pets feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society when we will introduce you to Isaac the dog. Wet weather moving in this weekend with much warmer temperatures expected next week. I'll have all the details coming up in your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come tonight. Please stay with us. Check out clubprocashmere.com for upcoming events and tickets. 
Bring the whole family up to Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house in historic downtown Chelan. Applewood smoked brisket, street style tacos, and our award-winning barbecue rubs and sauces. Our meals pair perfectly with our exciting lineup of craft ales, made right here in Chelan. We've got room for big groups, or give us a call for catering. So grab the kids and check out the fun at Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house located in the heart of Chelan. Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. What once was old now is new to the NCW Life Channel. Tune in for Bonanza, Superman, The Andy Griffith Show, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Invisible Man, The Lone Ranger, and The Lucy Show. Check your program guide for classic programming on NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. It's time now for our weekly Pause for Pets feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight's featured pet is a gentle giant whose large size will leave you shocked to discover that he's only six months old. Meet Isaac. My name is Christine and I work here at Wenatchee Valley Humane Society as part of their behavior program. And today I am here with my friend Isaac. He is six months old, believe it or not, already weighing 70 pounds. <laughs> Hi buddy. And he is an Anatolian Shepherd mixed with Great Pyrenees. So both of those breeds are pretty large breeds and both, oh, <laughs> and both are known um, for their livestock guarding skills. So if you have you know, a farm or a place for him to, to work, livestock guarding is kind of in his DNA, you could say. Um, but he also is such a, a gentle giant for only being six months old. He has a calm demeanor. He's gentle <laughs> and loves affection. <laughs> So even if you don't have a farm, if you just have a family for him to be a part of, I think he would fit in just about anywhere. So Isaac came to us through animal control and they were able to learn a bit about him um, through conversations with his previous owner. So it sounds like he lived with quite a few other dogs in the home. Um, so he is dog experienced and we have uh, had a lot of fun of Fun with him here, um, introducing him to new dogs here. Um, he gets along well with both males, females, um, varying ages. Um, so he's a really easygoing guy um, when it comes to socializing with other dogs. So in his short time being here, Isaac, we found already knows how to sit and is picking up leash skills really quickly. Um, despite being um, such a large puppy, um, he's really gentle and easy to walk on leash. Um, so he would be great, <laughs> great with anyone wanting to continue any type of training with him. He picks things up quickly and um, has a really gentle nature about him. Um, so he's pretty easy to work with in that way. So if you're interested in meeting Isaac, you can, <laughs> you can come on down and meet him. We are open 11 to 6, Thursday through Tuesday. We are closed on Wednesdays. And Isaac here is available for meet and greets. So come on down and, and say hi to this big sweet guy. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org.
Time now to take a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Boy, it was another beautiful sunny day out there. Hope you had a great Thursday. Lots of that blue sky all over North Central Washington today. Temperature still just slightly below normal, but boy, with that sun, it sure felt nice out there today. And as we take a look at what we can expect as we make our way through the rest of this week and into this weekend, you can see our temperatures staying pretty much below normal until about Saturday into Sunday. We will be in the upper 40s and then as we get into next week I'm thinking 50 for Monday Tuesday and all the way possibly up to 54 degrees by the time we get to Thursday and maybe next Saturday we could see our first 60 degree day we'll have to wait and see how this weather plays out but not bad today 46 our unofficial high temperature 50 is now our normal high 70 how about that day back in 2005 a beauty 25 this morning. 32 is our normal low and 21 our record low set in 2019. So we weren't that far off once again from an overnight low record. A sunrise 628 and the sun sets tonight at 556. All right, let's get you into those Friday temperatures. It's going to be another nice one. 52 Moses Lake and Afreda. 50 for Quincy tomorrow. 48 from Ellensburg into Wenatchee. Also Eniat and Chelan. A little warmer about 49 in Omac. 40 for the high temperature tomorrow up at Lake Wenatchee. High pressure is the reason why, and we're seeing that, but it's not going to last long. Here's our two storms. This is Saturday and Sunday. That's the rain we'll receive then, and this is the next storm system that'll move in Monday and Tuesday, and I think that one's packing just a little bit bigger punch, and then below that, high pressure that's going to build in, and that'll be about Tuesday or Wednesday, and we are going to see some really nice weather late next week. All right, tonight, our forecast High clouds out there. We'll see low temperatures right around that 30 degree mark. You can see the edge of that first storm just beginning to move into the state. For Friday, we'll see a steady increase in clouds throughout the afternoon. It will be a little bit warmer too with high temperatures tomorrow, generally in those upper 40s. Just beautiful up and down the west coast into the 60s. As we get you into Saturday, don't forget. Turn those clocks ahead as you go to bed on Saturday night, spring forward, and we'll see cloudy skies, a 40% chance of rain to kick off our weekend. Temperatures about normal in those upper 40s. Finishing off our weekend on Sunday then, cloudy skies. There's that trough of low pressure that's bringing all the cloudiness. You can see some rain showers too, and we have about a 50% chance of that. Maybe even some snow mixed in in the Cascades. We'll stay on the mild side with high temperatures Sunday in those upper 40s and then to kick off our next week there's storm number two beginning to move on shore we'll see a 40 percent chance of rain not so much during the day but look what happens in the evening hours rain will be likely monday night high temperatures right around 50 degrees for tuesday this will be i think our wettest day this is your morning commute a 60 percent chance of rain showers will dissipate somewhat in the afternoon on tuesday we're going to be mild too with high temperatures around 50 and then by Wednesday, this is where the warming trend begins. Mostly sunny sky. There's high pressure parked right over northwestern Washington. We'll see lots of sun, high temperatures on Wednesday into those lower to maybe even mid 50s. All right, seven day forecast 30 overnight tonight. One more dry day tomorrow, increasing clouds in 48. And then a very rainy period from Saturday right through Tuesday. Temperatures are going to say consistently into the upper 40s to near 50. It looks like Tuesday will be our wettest day with a 60% chance of rain. And then look at that weather on Wednesday, mostly sunny and warmer, high temperature then at 53 degrees. And that's a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Dan Koontz and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. The Lake Chelan Chamber of Commerce presents the magic of Manson. Come on out to Blueberry Hills for the best down home scratch country cooking in North Central Washington. You'll find it in Manson. Don't miss Blueberry Hills, where you pick, you sit, you eat, and you visit. Wildaboutberries.com. Tipsy Canyon is proud to introduce their latest lineup of new wines. The Garvins will make you feel right at home as spring unfolds across the Chelan Valley. Come up to the Manson Hills and experience the magic for yourself.
The Seattle Mariners used a five-run sixth inning to propel them to a rare spring training victory. They beat Kansas City. The final was 8-7 to seven yesterday. It was only their second victory all spring. In fact, they hadn't even won a game. Since February 26th, they took on the Angels today in Peoria. We'll have that score tomorrow right here on NCW Life and Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Well, for the Huskies and the Cougars, <clears throat> they're out of the Pac-12 Women's Tournament. Uh, they lost in the first round yesterday in Las Vegas. For the Cougs, they shot a season-low 30%. And they were out rebounded by Cal 48 to 35. Long ball. It's good. Yep. Mm is right. Tamina. Yep. Four for 27 uh, and still and 10 points. Just one assist for Washington State. Man, and there she is again. All freshmen, I guess. Suarez, who has not attempted a three, is a three ball shooter. You can tell McIntosh is feeling it, too, on that last take. And one, and B takes the contact and scores. America Tete boarding. Here's Wallach. Wallach with the line drive triple. She's got seven. And Washington State, the defending champions, will exit early. Mastroff with the three. Seconds to go, Prydale. Big smile on her face, 65-40-44. As far as the Lady Huskies, they cut an 11-point deficit down to two in the waning moments, but it wasn't enough. They lost to Arizona. The final there was 58-50. to She does so many things out there on the floor and rarely leaves the floor as beautiful timing and finish from Steins. Love the confidence. Schwartz, Daniels, the smaller defender sagging off and she sees it, gets the shot. The beauty of a great pivot foot. Schwartz looking at Daniels, now she'll skip it all the way across to Steins. Steins, tough shot with some contact from the D. Noble back in. She was a nice spark early in this one. Can she help out now? Oh, Seller says, where'd the door come from? Wow, the help D rotating over. Legs, big bucket, and patience by the Huskies. The mini Pueo is playing really well. <laughs> She's keeping up with her. Schwartz finally an open look and nothing but net. Now, Seller's out running. Defense getting back though. Schwartz, the corner hits it. Another look, and that's great spacing and push. And their ability to force them is impressive. Help D, good takeaway there by Schwartz. Sellers, she'll push. So quick. And the finish. Need to get her going. She was brilliant the first quarter head. Hesitation inside, Jada Williams gets it. And a great season for Tina Langley in Washington as they continue to build it back. Yep, made, all, made it all the way to the back. So both teams now enter the wait and see phase of the postseason. The Cougars are hoping for a fourth straight invitation to the big dance, the NCAA tournament. Huskies will probably be relegated to the NIT. So unless they meet in the conference tournament next week, history tonight. In Pullman, this could very well be the last time the Cougars and the Huskies play as Pac-12 rivals. It is the Huskies and the 18th ranked Cougars, and Cougar coach Kyle Smith said tonight in Pullman, it'll be nuts. It's a unique, you know, like I said, when the schedule came out, I saw an opportunity we could have really three good crowds to finish the season. Hopefully you're in a position to ascend, and it's actually worked out better than I even I anticipated. Um, and to finish this thing with Washington on our home floor with, you know, there's always something at stake and they're going to, it's a rivalry, but then, you know, we're still in the hunt to, to win the league, which is just incredible. So we should be good crowd. It'll be loud. It'll be exciting. And I, I told our guys that like, you know, I've been coached 31 years. There's not many, I maybe think a handful of times where you've been in uh, a game like this and uh, it'll be, it'll be exciting. That game at 6 o'clock tonight, you can watch it on FS1. I know I am.
The Wenatchee Bighorns basketball team has a couple of home games this week. Check out the new guys. Going to be a lot of fun. Two games at the Chelan Community Gym Saturday at 7, Sunday at 6. The head coach of the Bighorns, J.P. Davis, says they plan to play up-tempo. If you've been around in any of the training camps, it's been a, a, a full effort on getting us in shape so we can play fast. Um, I think we'll provide a brand of basketball that the Valley will be proud of. We play hard. We're going to play physical and we're going to play fast. Um, I'm a very fiery, passionate guy. That's how I play. That's how I coach. So I think, I think the Valley will enjoy just the product that we put on the floor, okay? A bunch of young guys that are playing hard, playing the right way, and playing for each other. So we believe in three uh, philosophies, smart, tough, together. So we want to be a smart team. We want to make the right plays. We're going to be tough, so we're not going to allow guys to cut in front of us. We're not going to make dumb mental errors, and then we're going to be together. So, and I think we've hit all three of those last night and we were pretty successful as far as making sure that we're together and we're a brotherhood and that we're playing together. By the way, all their home games this year for Bighorn fans will be at the Chelan Community Gym. And speaking of Chelan, a lot of basketball, as a matter of fact, on Sunday, a basketball doubleheader featuring the very best senior high school players from the smaller schools in our area. Sunday afternoon at the Chelan High School Gym, the girls tip off at two. The boys games follow, the boys game follows at four. Tickets are eight bucks for adults, five dollars for seniors and students. Kids ten and under get in free. All of the proceeds benefit local AAU basketball. And those are just some of the games that people are playing. On the next edition of Wake Up Ranchi Valley, we're going to be here on the campus of Pinnacles Prep Charter School. It's a great success story and an interesting story at that. You've been thinking about it, chewing it over? You should. The principal, Jill, yes, called the principal's office again. Jill will be joining me, the principal at Pinnacles Prep and the CEO on the next edition of Wake Up Ranchi Valley. Finally tonight, one sure sign of spring is the KPQ Home Expo rolling out tomorrow through Sunday at the Town Toyota Center. NCW Life and local telecommunications will be there alongside the master gardeners and dozens of local exhibitors. You can stop on by to search out advice and deals on almost every home improvement project imaginable. Entrance is free and the show starts at noon Friday, 9 a.m. Saturday and 11 a.m. on Sunday. And that will do it for our newscast tonight. For more news from around North Central Washington, you can find us at ncwlife.com, on our social media channels, or on our mobile app for iPhone and Android. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. Email us at news at ncwlife.com or call 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks so much for being with us and have a great night.